Hi guys, welcome to another mass tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at arcs and sectors. Now there are two types of questions that you can be asked in the exam. You could be asked to calculate the length of an arc or the sector area. Now both of these questions that we're going to have a look at are past paper questions. And the first one we'll take a look at is calculating the length of an arc. So this question here tells us that the radius OA is 10.5 centimeters and the angle ACB is 118 degrees. Now, what it's asking us is to calculate this length here. So from A to B. So on the next page, I'm just gonna make a small sketch of the question just so as that we can visualize what's going on. So the line in red is the line that we want to find. So we'll call that L. Now it tells us that this is 118 degrees and that this is 10.5. Now, we aren't given a formula and this is one that you will have to remember. So the arc length is given by the angle divided by 360 degrees. Now sometimes people use the Greek letter theta to denote the angle, but in this case we'll just write angle times by pi times by the diameter. Now, as it stands just now, we know the angle, we know pi, and we have enough information that we know the diameter, because it gives us the radius so we can work out the diameter. So, for D, the diameter is two times the radius. So in this case, it's gonna be two times and the radius is 10.5, which means our diameter is gonna be 21. So if we plug these numbers back in here, our angle is 118. Divide that by 360 times by pi, and then times by the diameter, which is 21. So if we plug this into the calculator, we get 0 0.327 times by pi, times by 21. And that will give us a final answer of an arc length of 21.6 and the units in this case is centimeters. And that's how you would go about solving this kind of problem. We must know this formula off by heart. This won't be given to us in the exam. Now the second question here is for sector area. Now it looks pretty much the same as the arc length. However, when you read the question carefully, it asks us to calculate the area of the sector. So it's pretty much the same procedure, except this time the formula is going to be slightly different. So it gives us the sector with an angle, and it tells us that the diameter is 12 centimetres. And we want to calculate the area of this sector. So again, with any of these kind of problems, what we're looking for is just do a quick sketch so is that you can annotate the diagram you can draw slightly better than me. And this is going to be 145 degrees. Now, the diameter is 12, which means the radius in this case is 6. So both of these are 6. And we want to find the area inside here. So the formula for um, sector area is it's the angle of 
over 360 again, times by pi, and instead of d, it's now the radius squared. Because the size of the sector area is dependent on how wide the angle is, the wider the angle, the bigger the area, and the larger the circle in general, i.e. it will have a larger radius, will mean that the, sec the area will be a lot bigger. So we know the angle, which is 145 degrees, and we know the radius, which is 6. So if we plug these numbers in, then we get 145 divided by 360 times by pi times by 6 squared. So if we plug this into the calculator, 145 divided by 360 is 0 0.4027 times by pi times by 36. And then if we put that into the calculator again, we get 45.55. And this time the units are in centimetres squared. And that is your final answer. So again, the formula is very, very similar to the arc length. However, instead of diameter, we have r squared. And that's how we achieve the area units of centimetres squared rather than just centimetres. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe for more maths content and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.